I'm in a very remote place in Yellowstone Park today. There's probably been nobody up here all summer. This looks like a good area for bears. I've been up here three or four times. area is to do a lot of stream crossings. As you know I walk slowly and quietly mainly so I can spot the wildlife before it spots me but also you gotta watch where you're going. So this ground is solid through here but every so often You can have these big holes right in the ground. You step on one of those, you could be in trouble. One thing I do when I'm walking through places like this, is I'm not yelling or anything, but I'm watching the top of the willows to see if they're moving. If there's something down in the brush moving around you'll see the uh, top of the weeds and the bushes and the willows moving. That's a creek right there. Not a trail. Lots of grizzly food in here. in some deep, deep forests all day. Absolutely no trace of people. There's not even a trail around here. Like I've been saying, lots of grizzly food. finally starting to open up a, a little bit. It's been nothing but thick timber for the last two hours. So 
saw some uh, black bear scat in, in the thick timber. Haven't seen any grizzly bear scat. You can see there's an, an animal's walked right through here. So what I'm doing is just going slowly and quietly, watching for ears sticking up or humps, like from grizzly bear laying down in here. One thing I think the bears like to do is they like to lay off in a shadowy place like this during midday and keep an eye on the field out in front of them so I see right through here with all this grass and everything I can't really tell what walked through here suspect elk or moose Starting to see some grizzly food. See all these pocket gopher mounds. So uh, we have a food source, but I've seen no evidence yet of grizzly bear activity. log but that could have been from a black bear Here's another log that's been rolled over. So I'm seeing bear activity, but I can't tell you if it's a black bear activity or grizzly bear activity at this point. Here's where an ant nest has been scooped up by a, by a bear, pretty old. Another log's been turned over, torn apart here. A lot of ground squirrel activity. Look at this log. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some 
looks like elk tracks. Pretty fresh that came down through here. Okay, now here's an interesting path. Something stepped right there. Something stepped there. See how wide that is? See the torn up log right there? That looks like a bear track. See how he came down through that high brush? Right in through here. The grass is mainly pushed over that way, so I think he went down that way. Without seeing a track though, I can't tell you what kind of bear it is. Came right through here. There's another ant pile that's been scooped out by a bear. That one's uh, newer than the last one we looked at. There's an old one. Top of that one's been scraped off. I don't care what anyone tells you that only grizzly bears scoop off the top of ant piles. I've seen for myself black bears doing it. So both black bears and grizzly bears will scoop off an ant pile and lick up the ants. Now in places like this, I just move slow and quietly. It's the way I do it. Watching carefully. I do not want to come through here making a bunch of noise and scaring a bear that might be sleep might be sleeping. If a grizzly hears that voice and he's sleeping, he's going to jump up very alarmed and he's going to be running some direction. I doubt he's going to stand there and look around trying to figure out where the sound's coming from. Grizzly bears usually, as soon as they hear a human voice, react by trying to move off, but they can easily come your direction if, they, if they're not sure where the sound's coming from, so I never make a bunch of noise going through places like this. That's just me. On these videos, I'm just showing you what I do. Doesn't mean you need to copy me. Doesn't mean I, I'm right and everyone else is wrong. This is just the way I do it and you need to do what you think is best for you. And also as people know, I'm all about not disturbing the wildlife, hiking peacefully. So that's another reason I'm moving quietly not trying to disturb anything. And then another thought is uh, if a grizzly bear is in here or laying down, sleeping or something like that, and he hears something walking through the trees, he's not alarmed at that point. But he, he is going to raise up and investigate. And then after he spots you, now he knows it's a person and he can go ahead and move off. The human voice 
bring them out of a sleep with a human voice, he's going to be very alarmed and upset and reacting and no telling which direction he's going to start running. He may run right into you. And he's not going to be a happy grizzly bear at that point. These trees are getting thick in here. Well, I haven't seen any fresh bear activity. Right there, it looks like some huge tracks, but I'm not sure what those are. Could be moose. Boulder tracks, I don't know if I can get across there to see. You can see some old tracks down the bottom of the stream there. Those other tracks are too old to figure out anything from them. I can't tell you for sure what kind of tracks those are in the stream. See where bears turn that log over to get the insects. Good grizzly food. 